this woman of Samaria. The Samaritans and the Jews did not coincide, did not harmonize, did not get along at all. And so when Jesus said, give me to drink, she said, I don't understand why you, a Jew, is asking me, a Samaritan, for a drink. Jesus said, the water that I have to give is the water of everlasting life. And if you drink the water that I give, you shall never be thirsty again. What a principle to live on day in and day out of our lives. To realize that Jesus is all we need. It's like the little boy that said, the Lord is my shepherd, that's all I need. Jesus is all we need. We need to remember those that have went on before. You know, many times, and I'm sure those of you that have lost a loved one are probably in the same way. We think about a mother or a father that has left and different things bring them to our minds. We don't want to remember. We don't want to forget. We don't want to forget Doris Greer here in this church. I don't think I ever will. And I haven't known her as long as many of you have, but every time that we do our welcoming in the morning and we give one another hugs, I'll always remember Doris. So those hugs this morning were for Doris. And I pray that as long as this is a church, we'll always remember that. I can, I can remember my mom. I think about her often. Carolyn's mom and dad, I think about them often. And I know that you have others that you'd like to mention this morning. Who wants to be first? a memory about a loved one that you want to share with us? Anybody? Grandson Anthony. Grandson Anthony, okay. He was saved in this church. All right, that's a good thing to know. Grandson saved in this church. And my youngest brother, Eric. Huh? Your yeah, youngest brother, yeah, Eric. What do you remember about Eric? Oh, my. We used to have a lot of fun together. Okay. We, both, we both loved music. We sang together here in the church. That's, that was one of my favorite things, us singing together here. All right. We don't want to give up these specials now on Sunday morning, okay? Because uh, that's, that's good. That's a good part of this worship service. And we're going to be talking about all these things Wednesday night in our committee meeting. Somebody else have a... Tommy Jensen took Wayne to VA. I didn't hear it. Tommy Jensen. Tommy Jensen, okay. He took Wayne up to VA to get help. All right. Very good. Tommy Jensen. I won't forget those two either. Anybody else? My dad was really special to me. He always took us to Sunday school when we were kids. Amen. Great father. Amen.
My dad didn't take us to church, <laughs> but he, uh, our mother t made sure we went to Sunday school, and it was right out across the catty corner, across the street from where we lived. So she went most of the time, but a lot of times she didn't go, but she made sure we went. So I grew up in a Methodist church for Sunday school. And that's, that's good. Parents ought to take their kids to church, to Sunday school. We went through a phase in our society when parents didn't go to church with their kids as a family. They would take them and drop them off and leave them because they had a babysitter <laughs> for a while. Um, and then they'd come and pick them up or they expect somebody else to pick them up and bring them back home after. I think kids get smart after a while and they realize, well, if it wasn't good enough for our parents to go to church, why should we go? <laughs> and maybe some of the problem that we're in now. Somebody else, we're going to close. I think this is good that we remember loved ones and Share that with us. Matthew 5, 6 says that it's one of the Beatitudes. It says that blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Jesus said, give me to drink. He who drinks of the water that I give shall never thirst, but it shall be a well of everlasting life in him. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you this morning that once again we can open your word and read from it and be reminded of the truths of your word that you have always kept your promises and that you will continue to keep those promises that those of us who are thirsty yet when we drink from the water that you give will be an everlasting drink of water and we will never thirst again. Lord, we just pray that this message can get out to those who are thirsty and don't know it, who keep drinking and drinking and drinking and yet their thirst is never quenched. Somehow, Lord, use us to get the message across to others. For we know, Lord, that you want to save each and every one. And we ask your blessings upon this service, upon each one here, for it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's stand together and have our invitation here.